Beating rocks, beating rocks. Do 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 do. Beating rocks. Hi everybody, it's Rebecca from the Garden of the Gods Visitor and Nature Center. There's a little snow left in the park and a lot of snow left on Pikes Peak. But have you ever wondered what's living over and under the snow? Well today, that's exactly what our story is going to tell us. We're going to take a look at what happens to some of our favorite furry friends whenever that white stuff falls from the sky. Over the snow I glide, into the woods, frosted, fresh, and white. Over the snow, a flash of fur, a red squirrel, disappears down a crack. Where did he go? Under the snow, Dad says. Under the snow is a whole secret kingdom where the smallest forest animals stay safe and warm. You're skiing over them now. Over the snow I glide, past beech trees rattling leftover leaves and strong silent pines that screech up to the sky. On a high branch, a great horned owl keeps watch. Under the snow, a tiny shrew dodges columns of ice. It follows a cool tunnel along the moss, out of sight. Look, Dad says, tracks. Tracks always tell a story. Over the snow, a deer has crossed our path. Deep hoof prints punch through the crust, up the hill and under a tree. An oval of melted snow tells the story of a good night's sleep. Under the snow, deer mice doze. They huddled up, cuddled against the cold in the nest of feathers and fur. Over the snow I climb, digging in my edges so I don't slide back down. Under the snow, bulls scratch through slippery tunnels, searching for morsels from summer feasts. Over the snow, I swoosh, down, down, faster and faster, down faster and faster. Under the snow, a snowshoe hare watches from a shelter of a spruce, almost invisible. She smooths her fur, a coat of winter white. Over the snow, I glide past reeds where tadpoles play tag in the springtime. Under the snow, a fat bullfrog snoozes. They dream of sun warm days back when they had tails. Over the snow, I stand and stare, little mountains in the marsh. Under the snow, beavers gnaw on aspen bark, settled in for supper. Can they hear my tummy rumbling too? Over the snow, stop, a sound. We stand like statues carved in ice till a bushy-tailed fox steps from a thicket, tips his ears to the ground, listens, listens, and listens still. His paws scratch away to find the mouse he heard, scratch, scratch, scratching, along underneath, under the snow. Over the snow I glide, a full moon lights my path to supper. Under the snow, a chipmunk wakes for a meal. Bedroom, kitchen, hallway, his house is under my feet. Over the snow, I climb one last hill. Bonfire smoke rises, warm hands, hot cocoa, hot dogs sizzling on pointed sticks. Under the snow, a black bear snores, still full in October blueberries and trout. Over the snow, the fire crackles and the sparks shoot up to the stars. I lick sticky marshmallows from my lips and lean back with heavy eyes. Shadows dance in the flame. Under the snow, a queen bumblebee drowses away December all alone. She'll rule a new colony in the spring. Over the snow, I glide home on tired legs. Clouds whisper down feathery soft lakes. Under the covers, I snuggle deep and drift into dreams. Dreams of cuddling deer mice and slumbering frogs, hungry beavers and tunneling bulls, drowsy bears and busy squirrels, and the secret kingdom under the snow.
And that's the end of this story. I hope the next time it snows, you guys think of maybe what some of your favorite animals are doing. Don't forget to check out this week's activity, and I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later here at Garden of the Gods Visitor and Nature Center.